Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, SOAP web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. In all the previous tips about web services, we talked a lot about resources. We said resources should be announced, you have to design them well, you have to design your URIs well and things like that. There is one another constituent of your RESTful services that we would we have not talked about until now. That's representation. So each resource has a representation. What is a representation? So I have a resource called slash users. How it is represented, whether it's in XML format, whether it's in JSON format, that's the representation. So before you would actually pass the resource out to your consumer, you have to convert the resource into the representation. Thing is, there might be multiple representations for the same resource. And we let our consumer decide which kind of representation they would want. Let's look at an example. I'm sending a GET request to a URI slash users and clicking the send and I get a response back. I see three users who are coming back. That's pretty cool. But you'd see that what we're getting is the JSON representation of the resource. The resource is slash users. And what we are getting back here is the JSON representation. If you look at the headers that we sent in as part of the request, we did not send anything in the request. So the consumer did not send anything. He did not say how he wants the response to look like. And the server responded back with the default format. It says content type application JSON. But one of the things the consumer can do is he can specify something called an accept. So I can say I can accept application slash XML only. I'm sending the request out again. And if you look at the body right now, the body contains XML representation of the resource. So here in this specific instance, we are supporting two instances, application XML, sorry, we are supporting two representations, application XML and application JSON. So understand what representations you would want to for support and also understand that the consumers can specify what kind of representation they would want. Actually, this kind of content negotiation happens in the background always. So whenever you send something on your browser, whenever you send a GET request on the browser, you would see that along with your request, there is something called an accept header say send, which says what are the formats that the browser expects back. In this quick tip, we talked about representation of the resource. So when somebody requests for a resource, what we ask for or what we return is the representation of the resource. And when somebody wants to create a new resource, what we are asking them is also a representation of the resource. So there are, in this specific example, we are supporting two representations, application XML, that's XML, and also a JSON representation. Until the next tip, bye-bye. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, here's bye from the team here at In 28 Minutes.